Hey, I'm Srini, the creator of Maximize Your Apple with Mem. Have you ever felt completely overwhelmed when you're planning a big project? Are you struggling to stay organized or not even sure where to get started? Well, in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how you can use Mem to organize your projects, gather all the resources in one place, plan out all the tasks, prioritize what's important, and keep your project moving forward. So whether you're spearheading a marketing campaign, writing a book, or planning a content series for your podcast, blog, or YouTube channel, this is a process that you'll be able to use to transform your project planning process. Now, let's get to the tutorial. So what I wanna do in this video is go over four steps for planning a project inside of MEM. Now, I did a video tutorial earlier on the channel about how to plan projects in MEM, but that was a while back and I'm much more familiar with MEM now. And of course, a lot of things have changed inside of MEM that weren't there when I did the original video. So I wanna do an updated video about how to plan projects in MEM. And a lot of people have been asking about this in the MEM Slack group. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through four steps. We're going to create a project mem we're going to put together all the materials we need for our project answer some project kickoff questions and then generate a list of tasks and I'll show you how you can use the inbox to prioritize now in this case what we're going to do is we're going to use an example project in this case it's going to be an ebook lessons learned from podcast guests in 2023 and every year we usually put together an ebook where we compile the best things that we've learned from podcast guests on the unmistakable creative and before I had mem that process used to take about a month and now it takes about a day and now with mem chat it probably is something that can be done within a few hours in fact most of the time is actually spent arranging the content rather than creating it so there are a couple of different ways that you can do this the first is to actually have a new project template or just create a project mem and you can just create a new mem by pressing command n i'll show you how i set up this template first and this is something that i went over last week in the videos on applying templates to mem chat here under my flows I actually have a new project or new product launch template. And you can see here that it has a couple of different things. One thing that's really important with your projects is to make sure that you have some sort of metadata. So I like to have a status for the project so it becomes part of the active projects collection. I also use a, a projects tag here as well so that it becomes part of the projects collection. And then I also include a due date or a deadline. So you can see here that it are a bunch of different steps for a project kickoff. Now keep in mind, this is a template that is based on the project kickoff template from Tiago Forte's book, Building a Second Brain. So what I did was I just took the template that he offered in the book and saved it as a template here inside of Mem. And now anytime I want to create a new project, I actually use this template. So it's pretty straightforward to set up. You just go into flows and set that up. So now that you have seen how to set up the template, I want to show you one optional step. As I mentioned last week, we did a video about how to apply templates using MemChat. So rather than try to write this entire project plan from scratch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have MemChat generate this new project template for me. I'm going to go into chat here and I'm just going to cut and paste that prompt that we just read. And we're going to have MemChat generate a new project plan for us. And you can see here that it actually uses a lot of the existing data that is inside of my project template. And the nice thing about using MemChat for project planning is it actually eliminates a couple of the steps. It'll even suggest certain tasks for you. Uh, you can see here it takes care of the capture current thinking and all that stuff. And you can see here it even tells me what resources that I might want to consider. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. So this is something, again, you want to keep in mind is that when you are doing this, particularly with MemChat, and you copy it or save it as a mem, the formatting will end up getting mangled. So what I like to do is just create a new mem. And so now we've got our project template here ready to go. And you can see here that it gives us instructions and all the information we need. So we can basically say that we have answered a lot of the project kickoff questions, but let's go through the most important step of all, which is gathering the resources that we need. Now, there are a couple of different ways that we can gather the different resources that we need for a project, and I wanna go through each one of them. The first is to just search. So for example, I might know a particular guest that we interviewed this year on the podcast. So for example, I know that Chloe was one of our guests recently. So I might want to say that I want to use this as one of the links. So what I would do then is based on the fact that I have this here in search, I would then take whatever I have searched for and go back to the project plan. And I would just start adding things using a combination of both search and bi-directional links. So I know Chloe was one of our guests. I know that 
Britt Frank was one of our guests. Uh, I know that, for example, we've had a few other guests this year as well who are pretty interesting. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the links for each of the podcast transcripts and adding them here. And so this way, when I want to start going through each of the different transcripts to find the different sections that I might want to use to put together this ebook, I don't actually have to go back and search. Everything is centralized right here on my project page. The alternative to adding all of the different links is to just add a collection tag. So for example, if I added the UC transcript collection tag, then I can go and see every single note that is inside of UC transcript. So then I might be able to say, okay, based on all the different resources that are here under UC transcript, I can say, okay, well, you know what, I know that I want to use Gloria Mark as one of them. So that actually speeds up the process a little bit so that you don't have to end up spending as much time searching if you know that all the resources that you need are in a particular collection. The other thing you might want to do throughout this process when you're gathering your different resources for your projects is to create a collection. And that way, when you come across different information throughout the project, whether it's articles on the internet or something that somebody emails you, you can actually then just save it and tag it so that it becomes part of the project collection. So that's a very basic overview of how to gather resources. Now, keep in mind, we're doing a limited number of resources here, but typically you would have a bunch of different resources. So let's say, for example, another resource that we might want to create is a landing page. And so I could say landing page copy 2023 podcast guest lessons. And you'll see why this is important here when we actually get into the different tasks. So when Memchat created this outline for us, it actually took the project plan and action steps and it made them a numbered list. But we don't want a numbered list here. What we want is we want a task list. And so we can just convert this to a task list. Now, one reason I like to keep all the tasks related to a particular project on this page is because of the fact that when you go into your task view, you'll then see which tasks are associated with which project. The other thing you can see here is that we can actually go into any individual task and prioritize it. So for example, I could say I'm going to do this next month and then that would disappear and I wouldn't have to worry about it until next month. So the first thing that we've done is we have basically put together a project plan to kick this thing off. Now, one other thing that is really useful when it comes to prioritizing the tasks is using bidirectional links. So in some cases, you're going to just have text like we do here. But for example, what I could do is say, I'm going to take this bidirectional link and I'm going to make it a task. And what I could do is say, write landing page copy 2023 podcast guest lessons. So that way, the bidirectional link becomes a task as well. But where this actually becomes far more valuable is when we might want to use the inbox as a prioritization tool. So even though it's here on tasks, it could easily slip through the cracks. Whereas if I put it into the inbox, and I go back to home, I can then see that the landing page copy for podcast guests is now in my inbox. And so I know that it's something important that I want to work on. So you can see here that one of the things that's in my inbox at the moment is the outline for this video and the project plan for this video, because I knew it was one of the things that I wanted to do today. So that way, the inbox becomes this really valuable tool for prioritization. And there's another video on the channel where I talk about how to use the inbox as a prioritization tool. So now let's go back to our project plan here. And you can see that we have basically put together a pretty thorough project plan that's somewhat basic just because of the fact that I'm doing this as an example for a video. But we have created a project mem, we've gathered all the different resources, we've created a list of tasks, and we've even added one of those tasks to the inbox to prioritize. Just to recap how you do this, the first step is going to be creating your project mem. And whether you want to or not, you can apply a template using MemChat, you can create the project from scratch. I personally recommend that you use templates anytime you have a situation where the content changes, but the process doesn't. And I think in the case of projects, that's pretty much always true. The next thing you're going to do is gather all your various project materials using search collections and bi-directional links. And you saw that all those really work together. And none of them are things that exist in isolation, because what you can do is you can search for certain notes and add them. You can add links to your collections. And then basically using the collections tag, 
then go through the various mems that are inside one particular collection and then start to add links. And the benefit of having all your project materials on one page is that you are not constantly searching through MEM. Even though MEM is super efficient and super easy to find things, having everything you need for one particular project in one page with bi-directional links makes it really fast to access the resources that you need for that project. And of course, throughout the project, you might come across information, which you will then add to a collection related to that project. And there are going to be some cases where you actually create a project collection without necessarily having a project plan because you're not really sure what that project plan is going to look like. So just to give you an example, one of the things that I've been working on is this bizarre project that is called Understanding ARN, where I'm actually having MEMS AI help me decode the process of child behavior or child development by making observations about my nine-month-old nephew. And right now, I don't have a project plan for this, so I'm just adding different notes to it every day to a different collection or to this one collection. The third step is then to go through your list of project kickoff questions. You can use MemChat to do that, but I also think that you should go through the project kickoff questions yourself because MemChat isn't always gonna get it right. And then the final step is to generate a task list and then use the inbox to prioritize those tasks. Hopefully you found this helpful. I found that the way that I plan projects in MEM has evolved pretty significantly since I first started using MEM, so that's why I wanted to do an updated tutorial on project planning. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.